Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. We are here today for our last Staff Senate collaboration for their Wellness Wednesday initiative. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, just a couple of reminders before we get started, or some announcements, I should say. Um, we do have a t shirt design contest going on for our CFSI initiative. We have narrowed it down to four four submissions and those four submissions are currently being voted on and we are going uh, to be posting very soon our top two finalists for the public vote. So we're very, very excited about that. Look, look, um, keep a lookout for our social media posts. And today we do have our Staff Senate we webinar. And um, after that, we're going to have a lot of new things coming up in the fall. So Stay tuned. We're, we're really excited for what's, what's to come. And uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started for our Wellness Wednesday webinar today. So kitchen team, go ahead and take it away. Hi, guys. I'm Erin Barajas here at the CFSI train, training site. And today we have two very special guests from Staff Senate, and they are. Hi, I'm Marisa Campirano, Executive Director for Alumni Relations. Good morning, everybody. Obviously, I'm not Kevin. He is much better looking than I am. My name is Noellen, and I serve as president of the Staff Senate, and I'm very happy this morning to share with you a vegan recipe. Marisa, what do we call this recipe? We are making rice bowls with red kidney beans and a cashew cilantro dressing. I'm actually really excited to try that. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the dressing, and it is a cilantro cashew dressing. So we are going to have our ingredients here and we are going to use a food processor to get this going. Now, if you do not have this fancy machine at home, a regular old blender will yes. work just fine. So right now we're going to have some cashews. It is a half a cup of cashews right here. All right, and then we're going to add three-fourth cups of water, just plain old water. All right, so we'll blend that. Okay, and then we're going to add my old friend blend it. cilantro, or blend not it yet. First. Yeah. So we're going to blend this first. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was just going to throw <laughs> everything in there, but we're going to go ahead and blend it. Make sure we lock it. Tell me if I'm doing this correctly. Yeah. <laughs> Do I go higher? Do you need higher? Do I go higher? Yeah. There you go. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Is that good? I uh, maybe more? A little bit more. It's yeah. still looking a little grainy, so we're gonna keep going. And while she's doing that, I'll get the rest of our ingredients together. We have cilantro. We have some diced serrano peppers. And you can add more or less, depending on how spicy you like this. We have garlic. And in my opinion, you can never have too much garlic. <laughs> some fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then we'll put a little bit of salt in there to taste. I think Ooh, this I think is looks looking good. creamy. Okay. So let's go ahead and add my old friend cilantro. Last time I was here, we added this in shake, and I was like, what? But it was actually pretty good. So we're going to use this here. And then which one is this one? Serrano peppers. Serrano peppers. Okay. My hands are clean. And then your garlic. garlic. Marisa, you like garlic? I do like garlic. <laughs> I'm one of those people that if it says add a tablespoon of garlic, we're adding two. Okay. And last but not least, our lemon juice. Lemon juice. All and right. A pinch of salt. And we a pinch of salt. Good thing you said pinch because I was going to throw <laughs> everything in here. A little bit more. Okay. Let me go ahead and blend it again. I think it's so cool. Yeah. 
So while this is blending here, Marisa, tell us more about the office that you're in, Ms. Alumni Relations, yes, right? Yes, So I'm with the Office of Alumni Relations, and we're in the Division of Institutional Advancement. And our role is help to help support our alums in whatever they might need. Because we know that once a vaquero, always a vaquero. So whether you're looking for support or assistance six months after graduation or 30 years after graduation, our department department that's here to help support you. Wow. So if you're looking for information on graduate program or just need access to the library uh -huh. or want to be able to utilize career center services, okay. let us know and we'll make sure that we get all that taken care of for you. So even though you've graduated and got your degree, we're still taking care of you. Yes, ma'am. We want to make sure that students. we continue to support you. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to try and kind of just mix this up a little bit more. What do you think? Yeah. Well, Aaron is our expert. Aaron, how are we doing here? Is this? Come in and look. Y'all are doing a great job. Just, just get all those clumps that are on the side and just uh -huh. give it one more turn. Okay. It looks edible, right? It, it does. does. Ooh, ooh. It's a pretty green color. Mm -hmm. It really is. I'll put this down here. All right. A little bit of a. Well, I'm so glad that, you know, you have, we have your whole office to take care of our alums and for those that want to come back and pursue a higher degree, they can come to you as a resource. Yes, and then we do have some resources that are available to some of our faculty and staff, whether or not you had the opportunity to be one of our alums. Oh. And so if you visit our website, utrgb.edu slash alumni, we have a section on the website for personal and professional development webinars that you can view on your own time. Yeah, and are they free or do they we have are, to They are completely free and oh. they don't require a, a login or anything. Oh, wonderful. Keep that in mind. So let okay. me just assist real quick here. Go ahead. Just for safety precautions, you want to remove the plate first. Okay. Always leave it to the expert. And put this to the side. <laughs> And here we go. Perfect. Ooh, so now we oh, that, that looks good. We can pour that into something. That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and we can just remove the lid. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pour. This is our creamy cilantro dressing. Okay. Oh, my. It looks super delicious. It looks super green and go. so vibrant. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. So now we're going to so proceed. Before right? we proceed, like as as okay. chefs, as chefs, we need to taste foods as we go to oh. make sure that oh. it's good and tasty. So we have some handy dandy spoons here. Okay, Aaron, you gotta let us know how we did. Okay. I'm gonna take off down my mask. Mmm. Super fresh. I know. Very wow. fresh. Did we pass? We got passed. We can move on to the next step. Oh, okay. So we need <laughs> something, thank you, ma'am, to drizzle this over. So, Miss okay. Marisa. So we have to get our base in order. So we're going to start building the rice bowl with our red kidney beans. And so because of the magic of movie time, <laughs> they were gracious enough to cook everything for us. But when you are going to get started, you're going to make sure that you have all of your ingredients. So we're going to be using two 15 ounce cans of red kidney beans and these were heated up for us so what you're going to do is get a medium saucepan you'll take your beans out of the can rinse them and put them in your saucepan with half a cup of water and you're going to cook them over medium heat until they're heated through because we want to make sure we eat this dish warm mm -hmm. they have also put together our brown rice for us and brown so they rice. gave us a to compare Mm -hmm. So this is what the brown rice looks like if you compare it to your white rice. And brown rice has more fiber than the white rice, so that's why we're using that one. And we're going to cook, I think we've got three cups of brown rice. Now brown rice takes about 40 minutes to make, okay. so you're going to want to take this step first. Right. And if you're using maybe leftover brown rice, yeah. you could just reheat it mm -hmm. and use that to build your base. Yes. We're also going to use one cup of finely chopped tomatoes. Erin, can you tell me a little bit about tomatoes? Why are they so great? Uh, 
tomatoes are so great due to the fact that they they have a lot of they have a lot of water content. So especially for the hot summer days here, you know you always need extra to be really hydrated. So tomatoes are a really good source of getting that hydration in through your diet, which is very important. And right, greens are one of the things we want to make sure that we incorporate into our diet. And so we're going to be using half a cup of finely chopped. Uh, no, sorry, I lied to you. It's two cups <laughs> of oh, fresh spinach, spinach leaves that are shredded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we also have our mixed oh. veggies. Yes. And so these were just frozen mixed veggies that were heated up in a saucepan. So we put these in a small amount of boiling water for about five minutes, just until they're tender and warm. And then you're going to drain them and have those prepared. And we also got the our onions, garnish, which is our spinach. green onions. <laughs> and those are finely diced as well. Uh -huh. So I think we're ready, I right, to so. put our base together. Okay. And I don't know, Erin, if you want to tell us a little bit about some of the other ingredients yes. we have on. I will talk yeah. about it as you go. So we are going to. Get so it. with spinach, with spinach, a lot of people don't know, it has a lot of um, potassium. Mm -hmm. So you, you can get potassium from a lot of different ways. A lot of people think that your only source of potassium can come from a banana but mm -hmm. potassium can come from a lot of different things like different types of varieties of beans and especially like in spinach so if you're looking if you're not a big fan of bananas which i know some people are mm -hmm. you can also eat spinach and you can get your good source of potassium through there mm -hmm. wonderful so now we're gonna go ahead and do the kidney beans and kidney beans are Oops. a magic okay. bean they help in so many different things they're a good source of protein if you're working out. Uh, you know, some powders, some people don't like taking powders for protein. Right. But like, you can also get your protein through your diet and not necessarily meat protein. Protein can also come from plants. It's a really good source of protein and it has no fat inside of it. And kidney beans are a really good source of protein. Kidney beans are also uh, good for health, uh, your, your colon health, blood sugar levels. It really helps reduce it. And, maintain your blood levels wow um, it's also a good source of reducing your cholesterol oh and right. some people deal with the cholesterol because <laughs> for fatty foods it's right we get that um so this is just a good source to help uh control that and it's a really good source of iron phosphorus and also potassium wonderful and so the recipe says that you can arrange your in ingredients or toppings uh as on your bed of spinach so i'm going with a section <laughs> motif um That's right. but a fun fact about me is i don't really like my food to touch oh is so that right? yeah i'm one of those okay. people so this speaks to me this speaks to me look at that well it looks very aesthetically pleasing yes. miss marisa <laughs> you're doing a good job and it looks so healthy and delicious at the same time and i think that's what the theme has been when we were do we're doing this webinar series is making these healthy foods but they're delicious yes. as well and there goes the tomatoes okay uh -huh. so are tomatoes fruits or vegetable they're a fruit are they really? Yeah, yeah. tomatoes ah, are fruits. A lot but of people I mean, don't know that, but tomatoes are actually fruits. I mean, for right. commerce purposes, they're classified as a vegetable, yes. but they have seeds. So they are a fruit. fruit. Yes. So cucumbers have seeds. Yeah. <laughs> so those are fruits too? Uh, no, they would be classified as vegetables. Vegetables. Huh. Yes. Interesting. I don't fact. know. Now I'm going to go look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Fun tidbits. If yes. anybody of you all out there. Cucumbers, fruits or vegetables. And just to throw out there really quick, I know that she touched mm -hmm. over this about the rice mm -hmm. and about the difference between brown and white rice. Mm -hmm. So the, the brown rice is a lot more healthier and nutritious because through the process of like bleaching and washing the white rice, you all of those natural nutrients that are in the rice get completely washed out. Get completely washed out. So this brown rice is a lot healthier and a lot more nutritious to eat. And then we're going to just season it with some salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Helps Not bring out the though. flavors <laughs> just a little bit. That's right. And some pepper. 
I would assume that you could add all kinds of stuff to this recipe. Oh, yeah. If you like it spicy, you could add some of those serranos that are in there. Which you all right. Go so, and then our. And final. I am going to not mess up your presentation here, so <laughs> oh. you do the honors. So it says to drizzle the dressing on top. And this recipe makes four servings. Uh -huh. And so we do have some left ingredients over. left over, and that's why. And then look at that. I'm so glad that we have been doing this. All the staff senators that have been reaching out to, they've enjoyed watching these recipes. Yeah. And Marisa, I'm so thankful that you came and and you know presented this recipe and share this with us because man we've just been learning right this yeah. past four weeks well and it's been really interesting because i got exposed to recipes i wouldn't have tried otherwise right um and then i also learned that you can use the recipes and change them to kind of suit your needs so that was really neat as well wonderful awesome and ta-da ta -da. are we done is yeah, this I it is this the yeah, final product that's it. I'm going to give you guys a closer look. Look at that. So are we, do we get to taste this too? Yes. Like you said, it's a chef coat. So right? I guess what we have to decide is, are we going to mix it all up now? Okay. So you get a little bit of everything? It's or? up to Tate. It's up to the, however the person is eating it. We should do like a poll. <laughs> okay. Should we, are we, should we mix it up or should we not? So for me, I like to mix up my food. Over. So I am going to just kind of carefully get everything done. So how are you going to eat yours? One at a time? I don't know. I think... How does that work? How do you eat your salad now? <laughs> I'm well, curious. I do mix my salad together okay. because it's supposed to be married together. But like breakfast foods, eggs don't touch anything else. <laughs> and I'm going to say it. Syrup belongs on pancakes. Doesn't belong with your oh eggs. Oh, we can, okay. We can be friends, though. Okay. We can be friends, though. I'm glad to know that. <laughs> I love to mix up all kinds of things. All righty. Okay. Here we go. And we have a lot of dressing left. So if you want to put more dressing, I totally understand. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to do that because I like dressing. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Erin. We're just having you watch us. It's okay. Critique mm -hmm. us and see how this works. Oh my. That's good. How's it going there? I would eat this again. Mmm. I'm going to get up in here and try Yeah, it. go mm -hmm. for it. Wow. I was a little skeptical, I admit. <laughs> Not the, but this was good. It's very fresh. Wow. Well, I am certainly getting all my nutrients in and my vegetables in, and this is a good way mm -hmm. to do it. So mm -hmm. this has been, this is great. What do you think? I think it's really good. Now we're going to go try this at home. Yes, I think so. And we want to see you all try this at home and tag us and post and share and see how creative you got with this recipe. Because like we said earlier, there are so many things that we can do to enhance this or to just add and, or subtract yeah. ingredients. So yeah, I'm gonna have another bite. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. We look forward to trying out more of the recipes that are highlighted and mm -hmm. especially thank you for opening your kitchen and letting mm -hmm. staff senate participate in this. I think that it's a great resource to be able to provide to our faculty and staff. And mm -hmm. it's fun to learn something new and try some different flavors. Oh yeah, and it's always great to see what other people, different perspectives and what they can bring to the table. And it's the typical different experiences. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And I am going to throw it out there the next Thursday. I will look forward and Marisa and I look forward to seeing all of you at our August meeting. We're gonna have wonderful guests. And uh, it's always wonderful to see everybody, even though through Zoom. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. That looks delicious. I can't wait to go downstairs and try it myself. We want to give a huge thank you to uh, the staff Senate, not just today, but throughout the summer that have come and have walked through with us on how to make all these different dishes. 
if you missed a webinar and want to go back and watch one, you can go to our YouTube page where you'll see all our past webinars and uh, try them out for yourself and see if you like any. Uh, as Monica mentioned in the beginning of the webinar, we have a t-shirt design contest that's been going on. We have narrowed it down to four people and in a few days or so, you can expect uh, our final two finalists to go up and we'll have a little voting system going on and whoever gets the most votes will win the t-shirt design contest. So stay tuned to our social media. That's at eTRGV.CFSI on Instagram and on Facebook. We want to thank you all for joining us today and we hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week.